my name is Aman Graham Will. I am a South Sudanese by my nationality, and I live in Kakuma refugee camp. I work as a lead reporter and the coordinator at Refugee Football Network. I am also a co-founder at Social Initiative for Support, a community-based organization that we founded in Kakuma with the mission of getting the better skills to the community whereby they can be able to realize and explore the possible opportunities that they can become successful in life. I work as a FIDE expert in Kakuma and at Kalabaye Settlement. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about my story. Before I became a refugee in 2014, I was a football player that was having a dream of playing in the, the major leagues, uh, particularly in Europe as I was thinking of getting one day signed by Manchester United because it was one of the biggest clubs in the world that I had admired by then. So this was something that I was having in me, but it didn't come into reality. When I came to Kakuma, I continued playing football and I was studying. So I completed my secondary school in Kakuma. After my completion of secondary school, I got the trainings whereby I was trained to work as a football analyst in Kakuma. So there was lightning hope in me that I am still getting back to a sport that I can pursue a career in football. But after some time, I was seeing that it was not enough for me. So I was putting much interest into higher education. So I was lucky enough to enroll at Allison Institute where I completed my diploma in business administration. And I was saying that it was not enough for me as well because I believe education is the powerful tool that can bring the rich and the poor together. And I was lucky enough again to get the scholarship from Zim University uh, through the Jesuit Worldwide Learning. So I was enrolled at Zim University, where I completed my certificate in CLS. So I continued putting more effort again, and I was given the scholarship again by the Jesuit Worldwide Learning at Zim University. Today, I am a second year student studying Bachelor's of Art in Sustainable Development. So this is all about that came into reality. But I was seeing the, the need of playing football didn't come into reality. So I continue pursuing the career in sport as well. So today, as I work as a lead reporter at Refugee Football Network, I have a, mu a much bigger platform that I am able to, to bring the, the ideas, the opportunities to the refugees in the world so that they can be able to, to get to know better the ideas or, or what they can do to become whom they want to be. So this is something that I was lacking. And if I had the opportunity, like the opportunities that the Refugee Football Network is giving to the community now, I would have become whom I wanted to be by then. So Refugee Football Network is not all about uh, giving the people the facilities to play football, but it's about educating the people in the community, uh, telling them or let them understand what do they want to do so that they become whom they wanted to be. So this is all about uh, like uh, training the people, making people realize what they have, what dreams do they have, and what can they do. It's all about uh, getting the children to be healthy, whereby because you, after playing football, you are able to, to wash your uniforms, wash your training kit, and this is something that uh, Refugee Football Network is making the kids understand, of which washing the hands is one of the most important things. So it is all about agenda as well. Although people, some people see it like only focusing on football. So generally, it's all about the well-being of the people. So I want to thank uh, Samuel Falk, my boss at Refugee Football Network, uh, who brought this much bigger platform uh, to the refugees in the world. So this is something that I also want to appreciate the people who are working find the success of RFN, like Ricardo Herrera, the innocent from Kakuma as well, 
and the other people who are working tirelessly to support the Refugee Football Network. Thank you everyone and we hope to change the better future uh, so that we can have a, a sustainable world and through football uh, we can have uh, a transformed community. As I believe uh, football is one of the powerful tools in Kakuma that bring the different communities together despite the fact that these people were coming from their home countries as enemies. In Kakuma, I can see so many people playing football together, speaking one language through football, of which when they were from their home countries, that one was not happening. They normally understand and see themselves as enemies because there was a tribal uh, conflicts that were existing. But in the sport in Kakuma, it is nothing but peace. So thank you everyone for supporting the, the, the sport and thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.